fucking hell! Oh my god! Ah! Oh, I'm oh, so sorry! Oh, I'm so sorry! <laughs> Holy shit, are you okay? I'm so sorry, come here! Oh my god! <laughs> Are you okay? I love your reaction. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Hello everybody. How are you feeling today? I hope you're feeling very, very good and ready to start today's class. On today's class, we are going to do the lesson 3 of unit 10. This lesson is going to talk about course. So, open your books to page 110, It's going to be, I'll take a course. I'll take a course is eu farei um curso, yeah? I'll take a course is eu farei um curso, um curso de inglês, maybe Spanish, and a course, all right? Open your books to page one 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 zero. But I'm gonna check with you the grammar, my grammar, in fact. Today, guys, we are gonna check well the future form, the simple future form, but now in the negative way, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make negative sentence using will. In fact, then let's check, let's review the uses for will. All right. Remember that I told you we are gonna use will for some specific ideas. First of all, we use will when we talk about actions or events in the future. Yeah. Nós usaremos o will para falar de ações, eventos que vão acontecer no futuro. That's why it's future. Another thing, we can use will for opinion. Nós usaremos o will também para dar opinião, as suas opiniões sobre alguma coisa que acontecerá no futuro. Yeah? And then we use will for fast decisions. Decisions that we normally don't plan. Okay? Nós usaremos o will também para falar sobre aquelas decisões que a gente acaba não planejando. Elas acontecem, elas são mais automáticas. Yeah? And the last one, to talk about uncertainty. Uncertain são coisas que nós não temos certezas, certeza de que vai acontecer, ok? This, for this, we also use will, all right? Then, today, the structure we are going to learn is going to be just a little different, just a little. Uh, first of all, what is going to happen? This is, oh, I put interrogative, no, sorry guys. Let me change here. This is negative. Let me change it now. Forgot it. Sorry. So, oh, going back. Perfect. So, guys, what is going to happen here? For the negative form, this is going to be the structure. First of all, you have the subject. Remember, subject is going to be this. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. Okay? Then, we are going to have the won't. Won't would be no, no in the future, yeah? And then we have the verb and the complement. There is a point here, guys. We have two forms to talk about the negative. We can use the won't or will not, whatever, guys. The two forms here are totally okay. Então, nós teremos duas formas para falar de, da negativa, do, do future na negativa. Nós podemos usar o won't or o will not. Tem diferença? No, meaning no, em sentido não vai ter diferença não. A diferença é que o won't, esse primeiro aqui, ele é mais usado do que o will not. O will not, geralmente, a gente usa para enfatizar alguma coisa, mas nem sempre a gente enfatiza o que a gente está falando. Então, é bem mais comum vocês usarem o won't do que o will not, alright? So, fix on this, fix it on won't, ok? It's better. One point, guys, point that is, that is going to be very important, very important, o que vocês não podem esquecer. Esse won't aqui, ele não está no futuro completamente. Ele é uma palavrinha que, que está ligada ao futuro, mas se vocês não colocarem o verb, ele não tem sentido. Então, aqui eu não posso colocar assim para vocês. É, I won't tomorrow. Eu falei, eu não amanhã. Eu não o quê? Eu não estudarei, eu não trabalharei, eu não jogarei. So, the verb is essential. If you forget the verb, you don't have a sentence. Alright? So, this structure here is essential to be 
just like this. If you don't use the verb, you don't have future, all right? You don't have future at all because won't is just no, no in the future, just this. You got to use the verb to, to fix the idea of the sentence, okay? Now, I'm going to show you some examples that I, I've made here for you. The first one here, I won't help them again. I won't help them again. Okay, them again. Eu não os ajudarei mais. I won't help them again. Here, he. He won't travel on the holiday. He won't travel on the holiday. Ele não vai trabalhar... No, sorry. Ele não vai, ele não vai viajar no feriado. Holiday is feriado. Okay? Ó, toda, minha, toda minha sentença está seguindo essa estrutura que eu ensinei para vocês aqui. Ó. Então, primeiro eu tenho o subject... Logo depois eu tenho o want, vou ter o verbo e vou ter o complemento. Para deixar a sentença um pouco mais, yeah, a little better. Here, guys. She won't study today. She won't study today. Ela não estudará hoje. She won't study today. Here, it won't work. It won't work. Isso não vai funcionar. Alright? So, normally, when we speak, we are going to say won't, no, no, no. Won't help, won't travel, won't study, won't work. Okay? Then I put more examples. We won't stop doing it. We won't stop doing it. Nós não vamos parar de fazer isso. Nós não pararemos de fazer isso. You won't talk to her anymore. You won't talk to her anymore. Você não vai mais falar com ela. Mm. Here, they won't wake up early. They won't wake up early. Eles não vão acordar cedo. They won't wake up early. All right? So, all the sentences, all the examples, they are going to follow the same structure. Subject, won't, verb, complement. Okay? Subject, won't, verb, and complement. And the same is going to happen. All right? With all, all the other subjects. Uh, remember, se eu não quiser usar o subject aqui, he, she, eu posso colocar o nome também, tá? Quero colocar Maria aqui, ó. Mary. Mary won't study today. Tudo bem. Ao invés do she, vocês podem colocar o nome também. Do he, vocês podem colocar o nome da pessoa também. Yes? Normally, we use the pronouns, but you can, uh, you can use Mary, John, Chris, and that goes on. All right, guys? It's kind of simple, but just don't forget the structure that I told you. This structure is going to be essential for you to remember how to use the future form of will. The future form of will, no. The future form in the negative. The future is will. Alrighty. Okay? Now, let's go back to your books. You're going to have some three examples, in fact. They used the same things here. I won't study at that school. Oh. Uh, I won't study at that school. Eu não estudarei naquela escola. He will not drive. Ele não dirigirá. We won't choose this subject. Nós não escolheremos esta matéria. Okay, so won't, will not, that is the same, and won't. Será muito mais fácil vocês escutarem o won't do que o will not. Will not, geralmente a gente escuta quando a pessoa quer enfatizar o que ela está dizendo, tá bom? Geralmente, ou quando a pessoa está brava, alguma coisa desse tipo, mas geralmente nós usamos o won't, that is much more common, all right? Then, guys, here, page 111, 111. Today, oh, today we have just sentences. Let's check the sentence here. I'm going to read first, okay? Then I check the sentence with you. The first one here, guys. To take a course. To take a course. Okay? Here, pronunciation, a, uh, a, uh, a course. We don't say a course. We're going to say a course. Uh, like here. Oh, a course. All right? So, to take a course. How neat. How neat. You are so picky. You are so picky. This house is a big mess. This house is a 
big mess. Okay? Let's check the first one here. To take a course is fazer, okay? Fazer um curso. Curso de medicina, curso de inglês, de espanhol, yeah, direito. To take a course. How neat. How neat is que legal, que bacana. How neat. You are so picky. Picky, guys. Você é tão exigente. Aquelas pessoas que são, são um pouquinho chatinhas, sabe? Que quer tudo do jeito delas. So, you are so picky. You are so exigente. And here, this house is a big mess. Essa casa é uma grande bagunça. Mess. Disorganization, guys. Ok? Uh, just focus on pronunciation here. This, this house is a, is a, is a big mess. Big, big mess. We don't say biggie, ok? Big, 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 like a big, big, big mess. Alright? Then here, guys, we have three more things. My father is nagging me to do my homework. My father is nagging me to do my homework. Guys, just do something here. Faça uma correction que tá escrito errado. Esse nagging aí, ó. Double G. I. And. G, faltou um G no finalzinho. Tem que colocar um Gzinho no final, tá? My father is nagging me to do my homework. O meu pai está nagging me. Nagging me would be like, ó, oh, my father is nagging me to do my homework. Meu pai está me enchendo para fazer a homework. Like, it, he doesn't stop talking. Ele fala disso toda hora, ok? So, my father is nagging me to do my homework. Meu pai está me enchendo para fazer a minha homework. Maybe, or per perhaps, guys, maybe, perhaps, it's equal. This is talvez, okay? Maybe, talvez, perhaps, talvez. Uh, maybe is more common, okay? Perhaps, not so much. Maybe is much more common than perhaps, okay? So, my father is nagging me to do my homework. Nagging me to do my homework, uh, maybe, or... Perhaps. This word is nice to speak. Perhaps. All right. Opa. Let's listen, guys. Hints. To take a course. How neat. You're so picky. This house is a big mess. My father is nagging me to do my homework. Maybe. Perhaps. 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 So nice. Uh, let's try again, okay? Pronunciation. I'm gonna go slow now. To take a course. To take a course. How neat. How neat. You were so picky. You were so picky. This house is a big mess. This house is a big mess. My father is nagging me to do my homework. My father is nagging me to do my homework. Maybe, perhaps. Maybe, perhaps. Eu queria que vocês, é, logo no começo agora, que vocês estão pegando o inglês um pouco mais... Um pouco diferente, né? Que agora está sendo um pouco mais pesado nessa parte gramatical, pronúncia também. Tomem cuidado com algumas palavrinhas, tá bom? Eu vou mostrar aqui pra vocês. Essa palavra, essa palavra aqui. Aqui também. Por quê, guys? A gente não fala is. Não vai ser is. Vai ser is. Is, como se fosse escola. Is, ok? Uh, a gente não fala big. Não, é big. Big. Como se fosse beijo. Be. Big. Big. E a gente não fala diz. A gente fala, vai falar this. This. Esse I aqui, esse I e esse I, eles têm som de E, como se fosse um E. Então, a gente fala this, big, is. Ok? Tomem cuidado porque muitas pessoas, vocês vão escutar muitas pessoas 
fazendo o som de i, como se a gente estivesse lendo a mesma palavra que a gente escreveu, mas não é. O inglês, ele, essas palavrinhas, outras também, mas essas palavrinhas que a gente está vendo aqui, elas têm som de e, como essa aqui também, pick, pick. Aí não fala pick, a gente fala pick, pick, sorry, é, pick, pick, ok? You are so picky, picky, alright? Uh, so, this house, big, is, alright? Be careful with this word, because pronunciation here is very complicated. And some people don't pronounce it well. So, guys, here I'll take a course. Yeah, eu farei um curso. Let's check here the dialogue. Oh, today we have different people. We have Sarah and Daniel. An exchange program in Mexico. Exchange program. O intercâmbio. Exchange program is intercâmbio. O intercâmbio no Mexico. Uno, dos, tres, quatro, cinco... Hey, Sarah, speaking Spanish. E aí, Sarah? Falando, falando espanhol. Yep, Dan. I'm studying, I'm studying a bit. Oh, I'm studying a bit because perhaps I'll take a Spanish course in Mexico next year. Sim, eu estou estudando um pouco porque talvez eu farei, I'll take a course, eu farei um curso de espanhol no, no México no ano que vem. How neat. Que legal. Will you go on an, on an exchange program then? Então, você fará um intercâmbio? Mm. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my gosh. There are many problems here, guys. Yeah, exactly. I won't stay in a student house there. Sim, exatamente isso. Eu não ficarei em uma student house lá. Student house seria uma casa com alunos, ok? E vocês podem, quando a gente faz intercâmbio, vocês podem ficar numa student house, que seria... Aqueles apartamentinhos com alunos, geralmente dois alunos por apartamento. Ou vocês ficam numa family house, uma, uma casa com uma família. Vocês podem ter algumas opções aí. Guys, deixa eu só arrumar aqui. Tá, tá uma coisa errada, erradíssima aqui no livro de vocês. Muito errada. Deixa eu escrever aqui. Exactly. Exactly, yeah, exactly. Não, se eles, enfim, ficou muito estranho aqui. Uh, yeah, exactly, I won't stay in a student house there. Eu não ficarei numa casa com alunos lá. Why not? Por que não? I think you will make loads of friends in a place like that. Eu acho que você fará, you will make, muitos amigos em um lugar assim. True, but I'm so picky that I won't be comfortable. É, é verdade, mas eu sou muito exigente, que eu não ficarei muito, eu não ficarei confortável. Around many people, mas eu não ficarei muito confortável com tanta pessoas, tantas pessoas. If I stay in a student house, se eu ficar numa casa com alunos, I'll probably nag everyone to clean up their mess. Eu provavelmente vou encher todo mundo para limpar a sua bagunça. Clean up their mess. Uh, I see, Sarah. Eu te entendi, Sarah. You stay with the host family, right? Então, você ficará com uma host family, na casa de uma família, certo? Yep, a typical Mexican family, and they are from Cancun. Isn't it perfect? Sim, é uma família tipicamente mexicana, e eles são de Cancun. Não é perfeito? Ok, very nice. So, you saw different words here, yeah, guys? Different words. Exchange program, host family, student house. This is basically talking about exchange program. Guys, now I'm going to read everything in English, okay? Uh, an exchange program in Mexico. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Hey, Sarah, speaking Spanish? Yep, Dan, I'm studying a, I'm studying a bit. Because perhaps I'll take a Spanish course in Mexico next year. How neat. Will you go on an exchange program then? Yeah, exactly. I won't stay in a student house there. Why not? I think you'll make lots of friends in a place like that. True, but I'm so picky that I won't be comfortable around many people. If I stay in a student house, I'll probably nag everyone to clean up their mess. Ah, uh, I see, Sarah. You stay with the host family, right? Yep, 
a typical Mexican family and they are from Cancun. Isn't it perfect? Okay, let's listen up, guys. I will take a course. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Hey, Sarah, speaking Spanish. Yep, Dan, I'm studying it a bit, because perhaps I'll take a Spanish course in Mexico next year. How neat. Will you go on an exchange program then? Yeah, exactly. But I won't stay in a student house there. Why not? I think you will make lots of friends in a place like that. True, but I'm so picky that I won't be comfortable around many people. If I stay in a student house, I'll probably nag everyone to clean up their mess. Ha! <laughs> I see, Sarah. You'll stay with a host family, right? Yep, a typical Mexican family. And they're from Cancun. Isn't it perfect? <laughs> All right. Oh, guys, there is another problem. Uno, dos. Here is dos. D-O-S. Uno, dos, tres. And here, guys, remember exactly. <laughs> exactly. Many problems here. Exactly. Okay? Mm, just this. This is going to be the problem today. Two problems. Check. Check this on your books. Okay, guys. Correct it. On your books. Then, hmm, you know now, we have some homework to do. Let me give you the homework for today's class. Let me check here, guys. Let me give you some tip. Tu -tu 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 -tu. Oh, uh, Sarah, no, 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 stay in a student house in Mexico. This is grammar point. Okay, today's grammar point. She, na na na, go to any restaurant. Grammar point. You can try to use the negative, okay? Sarah will, na na na, a Spanish course. Mm, paints. Paints. Can you ha can help you to find the verb? Mary's very, na na na. Paints. My mom always na, 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 to clean up the bedroom. Here you can use the hint because you have there or the dialogue. The dialogue too. The dialogue you have the same word. This house is I can't find anything. Hint. You can do it. So, okay. Number one, number two, grammar point. Three, four, five, six. Mm, grammar point. Oh sorry, uh, three, four, five, and six. Hints and the dialogue. The two, both of them can help you to do number three, four, five, and six. Okay? And then, 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 here. Oh, 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 here. Oh. Building sentence page one, 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 one hundred and eleven. We are going to have three examples here. The first one, uh, we won't, nos no, no, no. I won't, eu não, uh, and he won't, ele não, na, na, na. so you're going to complete it, all the sentences and create the complement of it, all right? So we won't, I won't, he won't. This is going to be the grammar, the building sentence for today's class. Yeah, so just checking again. Here, page 110, got it. And page, opa, page one, 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 building sentences with this. All right? Good? Okay, guys. So now, opa, let me go back here. Now, let's do the homework. And then I see you tomorrow. Don't forget, tomorrow we have video conference. Hello, me video conference. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, guys. See ya.